Hey guys, I'm going to have to start this video out with an apology. There used to be a note with this package, and the note simply said, uh, let's see if you can open this, or something along those lines, but it had no username, and it didn't have a return address or anything, and I've since lost the note. I thought I had tucked it in here, but I obviously didn't. It's not in the package, but this lock was sent from China uh, sometime in February, I'm sorry, March 5th, it looks like. I can make that out. But again, there's no return address or anything on here. There is somewhere on here someone named C.I. Fang is the guy that signed it. But again, I'm sorry, I, can, I cannot find that note and I don't remember the username. Anyway, this is the lock. It is a kind of an odd push button lock. Uh, it comes with the, obviously, with the little combination tag that goes on there, 2457. And he said, let's see if we can open this, if you, you figure this out. And it's kind of cool, um, but you get what you pay for. I'm sure these don't cost but a few dollars. Uh, it's not very heavily constructed, probably easily defeated. Cut more for like a briefcase or a, you know, a suitcase lock. And it's a push button, and when you push the button, you dial in whatever number it is, and then the, you can see the plungers come out on the back, and at some point, they'll all line up. So when we punch in 2457, which if I recall now, 2457, 2457, five seven and then we push this little lever to activate on the bottom bam she comes open so pretty easy so let's let's lock it back up and now at this point the combination is still dialed in and the only thing holding it is this actuator so that should be a clue about how this internal mechanism works so let's push it all back how can we pick this lock well what we need to do we need to we need to put stress on the shackle and pressure and the way we do that is you pull with the shackle and you release the lever and you notice it moved a little bit. And now we got pressure on these pins. Now we can start to pick it. So let's move this out of the way real quick. And I've got a little jig here. It's uh, just basically a big pin hanging out of my vise. So two, four, let's see if we can five and a seven. We got it open. Put that on there. We're going to lock it. Hopefully. Oops. And we push all the pins back. Let me move this back just a bit. So now we're all locked up. How do you pick it? Well, what we do, we're just simply going to pull down on the shackle. If this was hanging on a chain or something, and I'm going to put stress on the shackle itself. And the way I do that, I'm going to pull this little lever over to release the mechanism. And you notice now the stress is on here, a little click. Now all we need to do is figure out the combination, but there's a lot of possibilities here. It might take a while, but there's an easy way. When you push on these pins when there's pressure on the shackle, one of two things will happen. You're going to get a little bit of resistance and you keep putting pressure on it and if there's a click, the button will go down roughly about one-fourth of the way uh, or it will go down all of the way. One of the two choices. So let's just try it. Let's just go sequentially and you, I think you'll be able to hear it. That was part of the way. Obviously all the way. Part of the way. All the way. All the way part of the way all the way and there we go that's how you do it very cheap lock only a few dollars and all you need to do is stress that shackle when you click them let's lock it up and hopefully I can show you from the side here if we can make this a little easier I'm gonna release the shackle now and now I'm gonna try to hopefully you'll be able to see when the this is not one of the combination keys and you can see that partial click see how it just partially clicked and then when you put pressure on the one that does, it doesn't stop at that partial click. It goes all the way to the bottom. Partial click. All the way down. All the way down. There we go. All right, so that's how it is. Very easy to figure out. But what do you expect for a few bucks for a Chinese lock? Anyway, thanks for your time. And whoever sent this, thank you, sir, for sending it. If you will send me an email with your name, I'll be happy to put it in the description. I can modify it at any time. Thanks for your time. Everybody stay safe. Stay legal.